Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day. This is XOMA Corporation. Beautiful, nice, bearish golden gap. And this was the trade, the play of the day. I'm all out of this thing. I actually broke a little tiny bit more since I got out of it uh, and still has the potential here to get down to 650 today. Weak as all got out. Look at the volume in this thing now, two over 12 million shares traded on the day. 12.30 in the afternoon, though, I like to trade in the morning and be done. But if you really are still in some of this, there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. The trade for the morning, though, is definitely, definitely done. And this is lower, lower in the daily chart and even could get down to 5.50 for an overnight trade if you really, really wanted to stick with it. Let's go over it. And once again, knowing what to look for and having conviction really helped today. Uh, some days things just fly out of the sky, and some days you have to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and hold the conviction. Why? The stock gap down. Closed the night before here at 943. Open the next day here at 727. Beautiful bearish gap. Loved it. Rated 20 points. Open, ran up, held, ran up, and retested. Now, if you see this here and you see this here, and then you lose conviction and kill it, or want to buy it, it's the wrong thing to do. Like you can see here, the sun traders probably tried to buy this here. It's because the bar went green here. But it's not the right way to look at it. It's the wrong way to look at it. It's a short, and it was a good short, and it had several ads. You could have shorted it here, you could have shorted it here, you could have shorted it here. There was even a late short in this that I called in a 15 minute. This had a lot of opportunities to take more and more and more of this, and stop is over the base. Really nice trade. Even stuck with a portion of this when it didn't break the low. Even stayed with the majority of the trade here, knowing. Have, I really had a lot of conviction in this, actually. This didn't even break the low in here at 10 o'clock, and I stayed with it. I don't even remember if I lowered the stop there then or not. Anyways, here was the afternoon trade, the late morning trade. You could have taken some here, put the stop over here, and taken it down. It's hit through all the targets. It's continuing to go. And again, it really counts because knowing the market was bullish today, knowing that this gapped to support, you might have thought this was a buy. And particularly the way that it traded early on here in the morning because it did a bottoming tail with a green head. And this is not my favorite thing to short into, i got to be honest with you. But I love the gap. And more and more and more and more, I'm seeing funky looking candlesticks because of the fact there are machines in the market with things bounced. And what happened was this opened right away and bounced hard off of a number, which was 705. But it held. It held and set itself up very quickly and still met all the parameters to take the entry in the train at the right time of the day. You just had to wait for it to break. And if you're patient enough to do that, it did it. It absolutely did it. So a very nice trade in here. Broke the whole number. Still has more room to go. And it was a good short. Conviction was necessary in this to do the ads because you were shorting it back up against your price there up near the high of the day, knowing that it might stop you out. You're pennies away from getting stopped out and you're taking more, but that's the great way to do ads because you get such a good price then, such a good risk to reward, such a good trade, such a nice movement. The one thing I think that counts about being in the trading room after you do the GAC class is that I think people rely on me to get the conviction sometimes. If they don't see what I see, they rely on me to see it. And, and that does help people trade. But you can take the class and trade by yourself and just rate the gaps. And if they rate over 20 points, you watch them and you take the setup. And this rate over 20 points today. So it should have been on everybody's watch list, whether you were in the room or not. But either way, it was a quality, quality, quality bearish gap. How to look in the right way. Bigger target for this, if you do an overnight, is down at 550. I do think it gets there, although I have no idea when. Not today. Nice short in this trade with a good quality move. And that's, again, what you're looking to do. You had to be patient. You had to have the conviction. And luckily, this worked today because actually there was nothing else that I even remotely was interested in today. And I was prepared, actually, if this hadn't worked out on the day, to take a stop. And I was pretty heavy into this. I actually did the ad and risked more because I cost average myself up back into the price. But it was worth it. And I knew that if it had gone over the high, then that I would have killed it. I would have taken it off. I just, and I wouldn't have redone it. It wouldn't have warranted a second trade, but luckily I didn't have to do it. It worked. I held it on through, and it's a really nice trade, and, and I think that for the morning trade, everyone should be out. If it sets up again in the 5 or the 15, you could look at doing it. you got to look at the higher time frames. You're going to do something in the afternoon. 
it would have to set up around 2 to be good and then break a new low into the 4 o'clock period. I don't know if that's realistic today because this has had a pretty decent move for this stock on the day. If you look at this here now, it actually has moved 70 cents. An average move of the stock on the day is 50. A dollar is like a dream for this thing. So it could move. I mean, it could go to 650 today. I don't know. This has to set up again here in a higher time frame around the right time of the day to do it. But it looks like this just uh, double bottomed here in the one. Let me see. Yes, it did. So the morning people should all be out. Beautiful trade in XOMA. Stocks with show play of the day. Nailed it today in this thing with the immediate entry, the ads, the stop, everything. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move. And really just very happy. Things are going so great. The consistency, the, the setups, the gaps. We're getting them. The market just has been so kind to us, even with the bullishness of it, with the quality bearish gaps. It's just been really easy sometimes to get up and trade. When you see something good, you just do it. It's just, it did everything right today. It really absolutely just did everything perfect today, even though it took a little while to get going. And that helps the conviction too. When you know what something's supposed to do and then it does it, it's a beautiful thing. So have a great day, everybody. The Golden Gap class is this weekend, March 8th and 9th. March 8th and 9th, Saturday and Sunday. If you're interested in learning how I find these gaps and pick these gaps and rate these gaps and play these gaps, uh, on a consistent basis, you can do the class. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a fantastic day.